All right, everybody, right where we left off here, I am just browsing malware domain list and downloading files to test a squared out because I want to give it a good test and hang on, I want a Trojan TDSS. It's good stuff. Take a look here. So finds a Trojan. I'm gonna quarantine that one too. Try this Trojan. It's a root kit. And you know you don't want to automatically click block uh, click allow. Usually it chooses its default choice pretty well. And I haven't had any problems with that. and if you click OK it's usually right like here it, it tries to modify an auto run entry if I click allow yeah it probably would um, auto run but it automatically chooses block because it doesn't know the process but just for kicks I'm gonna click allow and now it tries to install invisibly so at this stage you know I'm realizing this thing's trying to do something and I'm going to quarantine this because I don't think this is a safe application. All right, it, it didn't like that one, and we're going to quarantine it because that was a definite hit. Download a botnet controller, see what happens. I am going to download this one. And uh yeah, it's a it's a pretty good description and it tells you it's malware. It tells you where it is. If you click details, it will tell you more about the file and in this case all this info is malicious looking. So you can make it can help you make your decision, and because nobody's seen this file, it can't give you a suggestion. On most files, it'll give you a suggestion. On like if you run CCleaner, it'll uh, give you a suggestion there. All right, I'm gonna move over to a different list. We're going to test Malwarebytes list. A few different types of uh, applications here. A few different types of malware. Get some second, uh, second types of uh, infections. And... Alright, program tries to install invisibly. I don't know. I like it when I try to install something when it pops up and shows me uh, a setup screen. I'm not sure I consider this one safe. All right. And uh, let's see viruses. Let's see what's in this one. Does look good. Program tries to install invisibly. Again, I guess I can click this. It's trying to make me think it's Nero. Um, I guess I'm not getting tricked because Nero doesn't try to install invisibly. All right, I'm going to block that. This looks like a infected zip. Well, that one that one has an error. Let's uh, do this one. And 
we go here, it finds it as a Z-Bot infection. And uh, we'll do this one. Again, it, this one detects, but let's look at details again. Anything with a copyright like that, it's like an ultimate... It's just like, don't don't touch it, ever. You don't want something that's advertising itself as crazy. We're going to go back and try some rogues. Smartpctools.com and A squared automatically blocks that uh, link because it's already found it is malicious and it just completely terminates the connection so this is probably going to give us problems here because this application is not trying to install invisibly alright so as it downloads its files um, a squared picks up on that and now it tries to install invisibly I'm going to quarantine that okay next 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 alright we'll run that and so it tries to manipulate other processes well you know honestly I don't want my processes manipulated I'm gonna block and quarantine that and we'll wave the wand and it goes away alright so ultimately a squared is pretty powerful and uh, it can really really prevent infection from your computer from reaching your computer using MAMU2 and other other forms of uh, prevention and if we look at my task manager here we look at the processes I don't see anything malicious Let's look at my memory usage here we'll take a look at a squared memory usage so we have 25 K and then down here 460 K a squared used to use like 120 megabytes but in this 4.5 version it doesn't it only uses about uh, 20 26 megabytes and it feels light and fast. Uh, it's one of the fastest applications I've used on my computer, even though it might not be the lightest. And their installer package is 65.9 megabytes. So it's a pretty nice suite. Um, I'm using it along with Arm Online Armor Personal Firewall. A squared actually they kind of teamed up with online armor and it's a really great setup because um, you know ultimately even just with the uh, MAMU2 A squared is perfectly capable of preventing but with online armor along with that with the firewall and the hips it's it's very very strong alright everybody thanks for watching bye bye